whales evolved from beach dwellers 50 million years ago. Do whales have a social life? And where do they call home? All this and more on Ultimate Guide to Whales. Coming up now. to have inhabited the planet. Growing up to 100 feet and weighing as much as 190 tons or 380,000 pounds. It is also extremely rare. Only its need to breathe allows us a fleeting glimpse of its legendary bulk. Like mammals on land, Whales and their dolphin cousins are warm-blooded and need to breathe air. So how have whales adapted terrestrial organs to a life at sea so successfully? And what prompted their ancestors to move from the land to the oceans? Orcas can be aggressive, intelligent predators deliberately beach themselves to capture young sea lions. Shoreline feeding has been passed down through the generations, adults showing their young how to achieve the best results. of all whales first became sea mammals. At that time, 55 million years ago, the drifting continents were changing the face of the Earth. India moved north to collide with Asia, forming the massive heights of the Himalayas from what was the floor of the ancient Tethys Sea. The remaining water, which today forms the Mediterranean, became shallow and more saline, fueling an explosion of sea life. On the edges of this remnant sea, in a primeval world of tropical swamps and estuaries, lived a group of animals known as creodonts. A subgroup of the creodonts, known as the Masonicids, hunted close to the water. Some ate plants, but others were opportunistic scavengers, carnivores that fed on dead fish washed up by the tide. Exclusively along the tide line, entering the surf to capture dead or dying prey. Within a few million years, they had developed into semi-aquatic creatures feeding wholly in the sea, the first primitive whales. with the amphibious animal that evolved from the sonicids. Pachycetus, the earliest known whale, still had four limbs as it explored its aquatic environment 50 million years ago. From then on, they evolved rapidly. Ambulocetus had large hind feet clearly adapted for swimming. Then later, Rhodocetus evolved a feature that enabled them to venture further from the land. The tail vertebrae detached from each other, allowing the tail to move up and down for propulsion. Ziggoriza lived around 40 million years ago. It had a flexible forelimb, but the hind limb had now almost disappeared. Ziggoriza showed another important adaptation. The blue hole moved toward the top of the head. In just over 10 million years, the early whales had left the land forever. The 
these primitive whales had teeth designed to grasp and shear, but eventually they became modified to form long rows of sharp, uniform teeth. Today's toothed whales are their descendants. The blue whale belongs to the order Cetacea, which includes the great whales and their much smaller relations, porpoises and dolphins. is a fraction of the size of a blue whale's fluke. At a little over four feet, Hector's dolphins are also rare. Their range is limited to a few coastal areas of New Zealand where they hunt for fish near the surface. to breathe water. Whales' lungs are relatively small, but they are remarkably efficient. When a whale surfaces, it can replace up to 90% of the air in its lungs in just a few seconds. But this efficiency alone cannot account for its ability to stay underwater. In some species, for as long as two hours. A diving whale descends with almost half its total oxygen stored in the muscles, where it is slowly released over time. oxygen with great economy. Only essential organs, such as the brain, are supplied, while others go into oxygen debt until the animal returns to the surface. sperm whale needs more than these adaptations. Its bulbous head contains the so-called spermaceti organ. Filled with a complex mixture of fats and waxes, one of the organ's functions is almost certainly to act as a biological ballast tank. When water is drawn into the huge nasal passages, the mixture cools and hardens, helping the whale to descend rapidly. The process is reversed by ejecting the water and pumping warm blood through the organ to liquefy the wax. All whales have bones that are light and filled with oil, which acts as an aid to buoyancy. It's also a vital energy reserve during periods of fasting. Unlike cold-blooded fish, whales need to stay warm in frigid waters. Blubber, a layer of fat up to 20 inches thick, acts as thermal insulation. But whales can also actively conserve heat using warm blood pumped from the heart. Areas with little or no blubber, such as the head and flukes, operate a heat exchange system. Cooled blood in the extremities is partly heated as it passes by the warmer blood, a vital adaptation because heat from a body immersed in water is lost around 25 times faster than in air. The very cold waters thousands of feet below the surface are the natural hunting grounds of the sperm whale. 
sperm whales are the largest of the toothed whales, part of the group that includes the orca, or killer whale. With up to 10 or 12 pairs of cone-shaped teeth, orcas can threaten even the largest prey. And it's the only whale that can kill other whales. Dolphins also belong to the toothed whale group and feed on fast-moving fish and squid. Dolphins have even moved into some large rivers where they've become highly specialized. Primitive river dolphins like the Amazon Bhutto have limited eyesight and use echolocation to find their prey in murky waters. Echolocation, or sonar, has only been used by humans since World War II, but it evolved in toothed whales and dolphins over millions of years. Dolphins emit short pulses of ultrasonic sound that bounce off objects, producing echoes which the animal uses to create sound pictures of its surroundings. flows and channels of the Arctic seas. The ability to navigate beyond the limits of vision is vital to survival. Another toothed whale, the beluga, has extraordinary sensory skills, including a highly tuned sonar navigation system. Complex muscles above the jaw focus a beam of sound that produces a very precise image of its surroundings enabling the whale to plot a safe route through channels under the ice. The belugas may descend to a thousand feet to echolocate scarce breathing holes in the ice. Their acute hearing also helps them evade predatory polar bears. After the break on Wild Discovery. This program is brought to you in part by Alaska. Beyond your dreams, within your... 